Our next drink for you is going to be the apple martini. Now this one is a lot sweeter than the other martinis we were making. The old martinis that we were making were made out of gin, vodka, and dry vermouth. For our apple martinis, what we want to do is we want to take out the gin and the vermouth. The reason is those have way too much flavor and they're going to give our sweet martinis an off taste. What we want to use here is always a vodka. The reason is vodka is real versatile and it picks up any flavor that we're putting into it. This is what makes it so popular. So let's go ahead and start making our apple martini. We've got our chilled glass first of all. Next, fill this up all the way to the top. We're going to start first with a half ounce of apple pucker. This is a liqueur, which we learned about in our lesson one. This is going to be sour apple flavored schnapps, basically a liqueur. Half an ounce of this. Next, we'll go for an ounce and a half of our vodka. This recipe might be strong for some people, so vary it accordingly. Maybe equal parts vodka, to equal parts apple pucker. Let's go ahead and shake up this drink. What I'm going to do next is pour out my ice. And then what I'm going to use here is apple flavored sugar. This sugar around the rim gives my drink a nice sweet taste. Tastes like crushed up Jolly Ranchers on the side of the glass all ready to go. Got my nice garnishes. If I don't have an apple slice, what I'm going to use is a cherry. It's sweet, it looks nice, and it goes great with the colors of this drink. So we got our sugar, our cherry. Now we're going to pour out our vodka and apple schnapps, or apple pucker. And this right here will be your classic apple martini.